Shalom, family. Hope my brothers and my sisters are doing good. Hope y'all are doing well. Uh, forgive me if it's a little noisy. Um, it's a little windy out here today. I was just out here getting some cardio in on this uh, this running path. But, uh, you know, I was talking to the Most High, man. Just kind of out here by myself. And it's very peaceful. Uh, and I just want to encourage people to to get out and breathe some fresh air, man. Um, especially on a day like today. I got cloud coverage, you know. It's a little cool breeze. It's still kind of early in the morning. But uh, it's plenty of green out here. Plenty of grass, plenty of trees. And natural oxygen, man. It's off away from the road. But anyway, man, um, you know, I was talking to the Most High, and uh, I was just kind of praying. And for some reason, I kept meditating on uh, the scripture that's in Revelation. I, I believe it's Revelation 12, 12. But it's, I'm going to paraphrase it, but uh, basically says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Um, for the devil has come down to you, having great wrath knowing that his time is short. And uh, I started thinking about all the kings of the earth. And, um, you know, in this culture that we find ourselves living in in 2022, you know, um, so many generations have passed. So many people have lived. So many people have died. So many people have spoken. So many people have, uh, you know, preached, proclaimed their their belief in a specific word in a certain word um you know and uh all the kings of the earth man in 2022 where we find ourselves living in right now um are living in prosperity you know they've been given power um just for a short time period though just for a short time you know and uh it just it just made me think of how there is absolutely no comparison in the power of the one that we believe in that we that we put our faith in you know we believe like i said just a second ago so many people have lived and died and so many people have given what word they believe in you know but we believe a true believer is going to believe in the word of truth you know because there's a lot of religions. There's a lot of, uh, there's, there's so many different teachings out there at this point. Um, it really just in Christianity in general, but you add in all the other religions in the world, man, it's endless <laughs> under the sun. And you know, most of it is, uh, is, you know, a lot of people believe that they can, uh, they can do a million things that are good and somehow that is pleasing to the most high. And, uh, you know, it made me think of the kings of the earth. A, a good example, man, of the king, one of the kings of the earth that's, that's living right now is, is Elon Musk, especially here recently. You know, he, uh, he just recently bought out Twitter you know, he's been doing all kind of, you know, it's kind of ironic talking about him. They're doing a lot of construction out here. There's a big old, big old mound of dirt. The reason I show y'all that is because um, Elon, I've, I've heard, many people have, have heard that, uh, you know, he's been digging tunnels. He's been doing, he just does all kind of stuff. But, you know, I'm using him as an example because it's like, man, a lot of people believe that they can do all these miraculous things. And somehow, you know, that's justified. Or, you know, their, their works are justified. And, and what they do down here on earth, man, like, you know, somehow it's pleasing. Um, you know, but a lot of people do it for the approval of man, you know. Um, but what I'm getting at is this. And it's the fact that we as true believers, we believe in the works of the son of man. We believe in the work of Christ. We believe in the word, or the work, rather, of Hamashiach, the lion from the tribe of Judah. 
you know, the son of the most high God of Israel. We believe in the work on the cross, you know, because it is finished. And he said it right before he gave up his last breath on this earth. Um, it is finished. The work is done. He finally, he finally was able to please the father, you know? And, uh, and so all the kings of the earth, man, like I said, Elon Musk is a prime example of one. You got the Rothschilds, you got Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, um, the people out there in the Middle East who, who have had, who got old money with the oil industry and, uh, you know, just politicians, all the way down to the politicians, man, anybody and everybody who thinks they have all this power, they've forgotten. A lot of them have forgotten the creator and the divine order of things. Starting from the, from the father down to the son, through the power of the Holy Spirit, down to creation. You know, the things from the heavenly realms all the way down to this, this wicked and fallen world. And so, uh, so, you know, with all that being said, I just want to encourage my brothers and my sisters, man, to, uh, to keep that perspective in mind. And it's the perspective of don't be out here trying to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way down the alphabet. Trying, thinking, trying to please the Father with your own works, on your own accord, with your own merit, you know? Um, we believe in the work of the Son, you know? Because it is, it is finished, you know? Um, but even with saying that it is finished doesn't mean don't, you know, it, it doesn't mean that our work is finished down here because there is always work to do when it comes down to, uh, to, to uh, the ministry, you know, and being a witness and, and uh, you know, giving to the needy, being a voice in the wilderness, you know, uh, re rebuking what is evil. And uh, and everything that comes in this in this in this walk, this narrow path. <laughs> Here I find myself traveling down a narrow path, man. But uh, but you know, it's important. It's important to keep that perspective, man, because um, the kings of the earth, they know. Deep down, they know that their time is short, man. And uh, but you know. I say the kings of the earth and and every time i talk about the kings of the earth i've talked about them in a couple of videos previously but uh it's always plural you know because and it, you know what it, it, it reminds me of that scripture where uh, i believe it's in first john i can't remember the exact chapter but uh basically it says you know test the spirits with the spirit you know same concept man the kings of the earth. There's many kings outside of the tr the one and true king, uh, the Messiah, Hamashiach. You know, and uh, in the same way, you know, there's a lot of spirits outside of the true um, organic Holy Spirit. You know, and so you gotta you gotta keep these things in perspective uh, while we're living down here on this earth, man, and just know. Just know that there's always a lot of work to be done. But remember who finished the work for us that we could never accomplish to please the Father, man. So with all this, man, I give all praise to the Most High God of Israel, to the power from my Shiak. Forever and ever, man. Y'all stay blessed. Stay up in the spirit.